All mods can now be ordered through the dedicated website modelmods.com. If you're building the iconic DeLorean from Back to the Future, or want to add that extra detail to your part-built model, then Model Mods is your one-stop shop. With an amazing catalogue of current mods and an easy order system, be sure to bookmark your browsers to the only modding site you'll need. Be sure to check out modelmods.com. Hi all, happy Sunday, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of Wayne. Today we're going to be doing a modification fix by the folks over at Model Mod, and I'm going to put their link just down here uh, throughout this whole presentation because I'm really impressed with this one. And we're going to be doing the 1-2 scale Build Drone Terminator Finger Mods. Now, by far, the biggest amount of emails I had during this whole build is the fingers are too loose. The fingers can't hold everything. And uh, Hachette Partworks listened to you and they came up with solutions, which I'm going to show you at the moment. Uh, those solutions, hmm, <laughs> some people got them because they were meant to come in issue 41. Some people didn't. Uh, so the folks at Model Mods have just thought, you know what, let's just do a permanent fix for this to make that problem go away. So uh, if you want to get yourself these, again, follow the link down there and you'll be able to get these. Is They're ever so simple to fit. I think the most difficult thing you're going to have is to take the old pins out from the old hashit one. But luckily enough, I've already done that. So uh, as you can see, I've laid out the pins here looking just like this. Uh, Termi, as you can see, is just lying on his back without any fingers at the moment. He's very fingerless. <laughs> but what we're going to do, first of all, I'm going to show you what the initial pins looked like from Hashit. So what we had, we had a thick pin, just like that, which would have gone through one section like this. This was what, what we had from Hashit right at the start, just like that. Then they would have put the other part over the top of it just like that and then that was all pinned together with a thick pin which you'd push into there and that would hold that in place now the problem with that as you can see on one of these cameras here it's loose it's very loose now you'd have to get some pliers on that and squeeze it really hard and then that would enable it to actually just stay exactly what it was but the more you played with it especially on the lower sections here the more it would just work itself loose again. So that didn't work. So the next fix we had would be another pin, but it's got a thinner shaft on, and we had a plastic sleeve looking just like this to put over the top of that. Push that down, and that would go in just like that. And then once again, we would feed that through the hole. It's quite tight to put through, just like that. Then we'd put the other side on, just like that. And then this time, the pin that held it in on the other side was very thin. It looked just like that. And then you'd push the pin in just like that. And then that was the fix that Hashet come up with, which to be honest with you, was quite a good fix if you could get it. But uh, I haven't got that on all my fingers, only the, uh, the recent ones that they had done. Uh, and it had the same problem that after a while it worked itself loose and it would just fall apart again. So even though that was a, a tried and tested method that probably would work. Uh, it weren't going to last if you were actually moving the fingers around a lot. So that brings me to this finger here. Now the folks over at Model Mods have decided let's do a mechanical fix for this using screws and uh, nuts inside this and then actually straightening it out as you can see there uh, with washers as well so that's nice and straight. Now this is one I've made earlier uh, but as you can see when you bend them they aren't going anywhere. And as a matter of fact, you can put these wherever you want to, and they're always going to stay stiff, as you can see. Absolutely brilliant fix uh, by Model Mods there. And uh, that's the whole point of this video. I'm going to show you how to fit these, two different ways to do it, but I'm sure you're going to want to do it the second way, where we do use a bit of glue. So you're going to need a bit of glue. You're also going to need something to apply the glue, like a cocktail stick, or I'm using my uh, pin vise here. Uh, so without further ado, let's get cracking. Now, before I start showing you what to do, it is worth noticing how the anatomy of the fingers are made up. The thumb section has two sections which are exactly the same. So it's very hard to get confused by that. Uh, but the fingers, they start with a small section here. Then we've got a larger section here. And then the final section has this little knuckle on top. So when we attach this to the hand, we need to make sure that that square knuckle is facing upwards. Uh, so then we've got the second one here, exactly the same with a knuckle on top. The third finger exactly the same with a knuckle on top. And then the little finger, as you can see, exactly the same again 
with the knuckle on top. Uh, it's worth noting that, and I've, I've put some time into just showing you this for quite a long time, because once you take them apart, if something happens and you mess them all up and you need to put them back together again, there's your reference. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the thumb to one side, and I'm gonna work on this finger here, which is the index finger. Now, this is where we get to open the box. So I'll open the box, what's in the box? <laughs> And I'll show you exactly what you get from this. As I said, for model mods, uh, the box designs are absolutely immaculate. When they post this to you, uh, you're not going to get any damage in this at all. As a matter of fact, they've got a layer of foam in there as well uh, to stop things banging around. But basically, you've got the... Uh, now, these are kind of like nut sections, but they accept a, a, a bolt or a, a screw bolt from both ends. Then you've got the... Oh, I'm falling out here. Then you've got the actual screw bolts like this and these are actually controlled with an allen key so you might want to get yourself a different sort of allen key but model mods have thought about that and it does come with an allen key now all the ones that i've created i've used the ones that come with model mods so uh it's handy to have that and then you've got some washers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up each bag now i'm not going to be tipping these all over the place because obviously at the moment we've only got one hand which is five fingers and we're going to need to save the rest of them for the next hand. As a matter of fact, they're just all tipping out there. So <laughs> hopefully, that's probably more than I need, actually. So I'll just put this to one side. And then you've got two ways to fit this. The first way would be to take one of the... Um, so I'm going to call them a bolt housing, if you like. A screw bolt housing. And just screw one of the screws just into the end there. So I'm going to start it off with uh, my hands. And then just finish it nice and tight with the Allen key. So we got it looking like that. Then what we do is we put it through one side of the finger. In this case, I'm just going to put it through this side. And as you can see, it would have a little gap in there. We need to fill that gap, and that's where the washers come in. So holding that with my finger, just like that, I'm going to put two washers over the top of it. One, two. Then I'm going to put the next part of the finger over the top and we're going to hold all of that in place with another allen bolt screw bolt <laughs> i hope you like the names i'm giving these and then that's just going to go into this side just like this so make it nice and tight just like that and then as you can see this is nice and tight now you can do that with all the fingers the only problem is that if you start moving them around a lot those bolts are going to start undoing themselves and as you can see they'll be quite loose so this is where the glue comes in so i've taken it all apart and i advise doing this for every single uh, one of these what you're going to do is you're going to take the little bolt housing there you're going to get some glue which i've got just lying here and we're going to drop with my little pin vise just inside the threads of this side here not a lot. Then we're going to screw a screw in. Just like this. Put it all the way in. Nice and tight. There we go. Looking just like that. Going to leave that for a minute just to dry. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing and put the finger together. So there we go. That's dry now. So what I'm going to do, once again, I'm going to put it through the top and just assemble it exactly the way you just saw me do it before. But before I put the washers over, I'm just going to get some glue again. And I'm just going to drop some glue into this side of the housing. Just like this, a bit more. Like that. Then we're going to put the two washers over the top. One. Two. And then we're going to be screwing one of the Allen key bolt screws into the other side once this is connected on top so that bit goes over the top just like that i'm going to put it at 90 degrees so uh, to start off with so it's easier to hold and then we put this one in through the other side like this once i've got it to bite just tighten it up and there you go that's that into place just like that we're going to do the same with the next one now so just to repeat we're going to put some glue just around the middle there Put one of the uh, Allen key nut bolts in there. Put 
make that nice and tight. Then just feed that through the top there, just like that. Hold it in my hand. Two washers, one, two. Little bit of glue, just on this side here. Not a lot. Put the top over. And then I'm just gonna load up one of my uh, Allen key bolts here. Put the top over like that and then just screw this into place. You might find it easier to just use the uh, one of these devices rather than the Allen key. But as you can see, nice and tight. Still enables me to move it, but it's not gonna move out of the position that it's in. I'm very conscious there that I missed a I skipped a, uh, a joint there on the index finger. So we'll go back and do that now. Exactly the same way. All the way in. I don't think it matters if you put it through either one of these, but uh, I'm trying to do it opposites on each side. So this one will be going in this side. Hold that in. Two washers. One. Two. Touch of glue. Don't need too much glue in here at all. Just a little tiny spot of glue. This side on like that. And once again, load this up. and then put that in. Make it nice and tight. Just like that. And there we go. That is the index finger completed. And as you can see, it holds itself in place just like that. So I've done the index finger. As you can see, I've already done the uh, little finger. So now I'm gonna work my way through all the other fingers including the thumb. And there we go, that's all the fingers done. So we've got one, two, let's put them the right way up that they're meant to go. One, two, three, four, and the thumb, five. Now we're gonna be attaching this uh, to the actual Terminator hand here, but we don't need the washers for this, basically because uh, the metal's thick enough, um, it's just gonna be a bolt, uh, the housing, and a bolt through the other side. So let's put those all on now. Now I know you eagle eye viewers probably looked at that picture and you thought, you know what Wayne, your index finger's got the parts around the wrong way. You've got this section mixed up with this section. Ha <laughs> ha, spotted it before you got it in the comments. So as you can see by this picture, that has been fixed. So we're gonna put the thumb on first, but as I said, we're not gonna be putting any um, washers on this side. This is just gonna go even through that side, just like that. I'm gonna hold it with my finger while I just put a touch of glue in there. Just like that. Then we get a screw in there, tighten that up. Nice and easy, and then I'm just gonna give it another tighten just with the Allen key to make sure that that is tight in place there. And then we're gonna do the same with all the other fingers, remembering when we put these on that we're doing it with the knuckle facing up there. That section there needs to be facing up. I just actually noticed that my uh, section there, where I thought was different from the other fingers, it actually had snapped off my uh, Terminator. <laughs> so uh, I'm having to glue it back on. So I'll keep that clamping while I'm repairing that. You see, I have problems too. Things don't all go swimmingly with me, but uh, you can already tell straight away that this looks 100 million billion times better. Let's finish these off.
Another little tip for you, when we're actually putting the uh, knuckle sections in, don't screw this screw in all the way. Keep it around about just shy of a millimeter out. Otherwise, it won't go all the way through the uh, to the other side here to keep that all in place. That is something I've noticed as I go along. <laughs> Let's put this one in. And when they're all on, as you can see, they are now pretty rigid. <laughs> and you can move them where you want without any fear of them going loose. Just show you again on the side camera there. As you can see, all good. They should be capable now of holding that pulse rifle. But uh, yeah, pretty impressed with that. What do you think? So there we go, another brilliant thing for modern mods. A couple of tips there, as I said, for you. I don't think you actually need to glue the knuckle sections in. You can just tighten them up because you're not going to be moving those fingers left and right very often. It's just going to be the articulation in the whole finger. Uh, so I'll probably advise not using glue on that section. And as I said, leave that millimeter gap uh, rather than tighten the screw all the way down like we did on the other ones. Uh, the other thing is don't use a quick drying uh, glue like I've used there. I had a couple of issues where uh, I made a cock up there and uh, obviously that now is wedged in there and I didn't mean that to happen. So uh, just use a really good strong bond glue, but something that just takes a little time to uh, cure. Uh, otherwise, if you get stuck in there and you haven't timed it up, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> but uh, I really enjoyed that. I said these are the instructions that Corey gave uh, on the Facebook group. If you're not a member of the Facebook group, then uh, just look in the description. You'll see the uh, link there. Uh, but I really do like this. If you want to get this for yourself, just head on over to the modelmods.com website and you can see not just the Terminator there, but all the mods they do across all the part works and models that are out there at the moment you can get these for yourself anyway look i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care and stay safe